We are counting down to the DNC right here in Chicago. Protesters are spending their remaining hours in federal court trying to change demonstration rules that were set by the city. Our Sabrina Franza is outside City Hall tracking this for us. Sabrina? Hi, Maureen. As that hearing is ongoing, some of those protesters are gathered here outside of Chicago City Hall protesting the city's decision to approve of their permit applications to protest during the DNC, but they say approve those without the conditions they asked for, for a sound system, for porta potties, for other support materials of that nature, which is why they're having that emergency hearing simultaneously with this demonstration. I'll give you a look to just how many people are gathered here. This is supposed to start just at four o'clock, so people are just starting to get here now. And what's really interesting is that there are a few people here that are actually on the phone right now. That hearing, that status hearing at federal court over uh, in Dirksen, which is just a few blocks away from where we're standing, is happening over the phone. And so some of the people that are here now are dialed in to that hearing to see what Judge Wood decides. There was a, a decision to have this hearing before the city released their results that they would, in fact, um, they would approve these permits, but now given the conditions behind those permits, that is another added layer to this ongoing legal battle with the city. Just a few hours ago at 11 a.m., this same group had a press conference where they spoke about how this was not an issue of safety or security. Take a listen. This is not an issue of safety or security. It's a content-based decision. And a content-based decision is illegal to say, we don't want you to speak because of what you are saying. We don't want you to speak because you're going to be talking about the liberation of Palestine. This whole ongoing legal battle was a First Amendment argument arguing that this group would not be allowed to exercise their First Amendment rights at the DNC. They first said they wanted to be within sight and sound of the convention center that was granted to them. But now this ongoing conversation about how their voices will be heard is this now renewed uh, element to this legal battle. And we'll keep you posted on what happens in that hearing, which is happening right now. We have another report coming up on the CBS News at 5 p.m. For now, we're live outside City Hall. Sabrina Franza, CBS News, Chicago. We'll see you at 5, Sabrina. Thank you.